At this time, I'd like to call the meeting to order. The purpose of the meeting is a special call to meet in the SPLOS 8 <coughs> agreement. Commissioners, um, you have received the information on the uh, need or the request to amend the SPLOS 8 agreement that was approved on the July 23rd, at the July 23rd meeting. Um, what I would like to do and what we need to do is to consider the agreement, consider the a motion to revoke the approval of the SPLOS 8 agreement that was approved on July the 23rd, as well as with that would be a motion, which can be all in one motion, to approve and authorize the chairman to sign the revised SPLOS 8 agreement. So, commissioners, I'll entertain a motion. Um, you want a, a motion to approve this SPLOS 8 master list as it's been revised already? Correct. No, first we need to revoke. The first part of that motion would need to be to revoke the agreement that we approved July 23rd. Right. I'll make that motion to do that. Okay. Well, I'd like to do it all in one motion. Okay. So, And then the next thing is what? Would be to approve the amended agreement. As written. As written, correct. Well, can we adjust this thing as written? Well, I need a motion is what I'm going to need before we get into any discussion okay. on it. <clears throat> motion to revoke the previous Splash 8 master uh, agreement and authorize the chairman to sign it well you just okay your 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 motion is is to revoke the the, the current agreement that was approved on july 23rd okay i'll second that mr chairman chairman don't have to sign that okay all right then the motion would be to approve the the revised agreement okay um or second. whatever the motion may be Second part of that motion would be to not approve the list as written. Okay. So we have a, currently we have a motion to revoke the SPLOS 7 agreement along with a motion, the motion includes uh, not approving the agreement as written. Now is it 7 or 8 we're dealing with? I'm sorry? Is it 7 or 8, eight we're dealing with? 8. 8, okay. SPLOS 8. SPLOS 8, yeah. Yeah. Plus seven is history. Right. You just said plus seven. I did. I'm, I apologize. I meant for the seven. record. For the record. Plus seven. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. So we have that. Do we have a second? Second. Ma'am? Second. We have a second. All right. Any discussion? I guess, Mark, what, what do you want to change on the list? Well, <clears throat> The historic courthouse is being reduced by three million dollars. Correct. That's correct. And how, how did that come about? Did did this well, architect just decide that go back and look, or did we say you need to look at this and reduce this thing? No, no. The process was was that of course the architect is doing all of their work um, on the architectural design and putting a budget together when. We approved the agreement. We did not have that budgeted number for what we, what she thought that the cost would be. Just simply an So estimate. we estimated what that would be because we didn't know when we were going to get that. Well, it just happened that last week they did have the budgeting number that came together. And so once that number came in, then it was justified then to reduce that amount since we had a number to work with and then reallocate the three million okay. and in amendment as, as we currently have it we were going to move five hundred thousand dollars over into the sheriff's department for that part and then allocate for a senior citizen center two and a half million dollars okay i i agree with the sheriff i think that half a million dollars needs to be spent on them the buildings is that where it's going out there uh sheriff department jail whatever construction they have out there correct okay but on the senior citizen thing I and this may not have anything to do with it but I noticed on here the city of Valdosta is allocating three and a half million 
dollars for the senior citizen. <coughs> if you look at the city's list. <coughs> I think we would be better served by taking that two and a half million and reducing some type of overhead, some expense, instead of building something. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that's going to create our county additional expense forever because of salaries to run it, maintain it, uh, clean it up, do all the staff, everything. I think we'd be better served putting two and a half million in roads and bridges and getting some of these short dirt roads off of our motor grader list, which would give us long-term savings. I'm trying to find the city's. It says three and a half, the city says three and a half million for construction of and improvements to major capital equipment for parks and recreation to, to include land acquisition, facility improvements and renovations. It says nothing about a senior citizen center. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't recall. It. <clears throat> well, well, if they're going, the rationale, <coughs> the rationale, Mr. Weisenbaker, behind the Senior Citizen Center, is the statistics that's been provided by Parks and Rec about um, how the current facility is basically, in their terms, busting at the seams. It's well used. Um, there is a need for an additional center. There is not enough area there and parking there where the current facility is for them to expand that facility. So in their master plan, in their long-range plan, they have um, had already have plans for a second senior citizen center. Yeah. Um, the facility they're housed in now mm -hmm. has a big auditorium in it and a bunch of rooms. It used to be a church. No, um, that building, no, that building, that's where their office is at. Yeah. You get the senior citizen center that they currently utilize is over on Park Avenue. I know, I'm talking about on Forest Street. where they right, That's that, their administrative that, that building. That used to be a church. Correct. And it's got a huge auditorium in there, nearly as big as this room, that could handle overflow and rooms in there that could handle certain crafts or things that uh, these people partake in in on Park Avenue. Yeah, so it would be <clears throat> utilizing well, something they already have. Okay, well let me let me remind you if I may of one other thing is that again Parks and Recreation is authorized is operated by an authority uh, which you have appointment to that authority. Mm -hmm. Outside of that they are an authority. They're the ones that are required to make those decisions not the commissioners. Now you can make recommendations, you can have discussions, you can go to their meetings and those sort of things and have input, but at the end of the day it's up to the authority. Once, for example, a senior citizen center would be built, it's not your responsibility at that point to operate that senior citizen center, it's the responsibility of the Parks and Recreation Authority to operate <coughs> that center. Right, but we fund it. Can I, ask, can I ask it this way? So if we Maybe it's worth if we haven't already had a conversation with um, with Parks and Rec and said if we provide the building through SPLOS funding, will y'all be able to sustain the, the 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 property through staffing and average you know mm -hmm. year to year bills? Um, would they be able to do that without having to come back for additional millage increase or something down the road? To, Maybe, yeah, let me say this. I had the conversation point. before I ever made this recommendation for a senior <clears throat> citizen center. I called the Parks and Recreation Director, Mr. Page. I called the um, chairman, Ms. Suzanne Prince, and discussed this. And it was very much appreciative and very much a need that they had. They understand they, their role. We build the facility. They operate it. Actually, at that point, they take ownership of that facility, and it's theirs at that point. Well, one other Sorry. comment. We're providing the funding for the structure. It wasn't a need. It didn't show up on this original list until we found $3 million that we weren't going to spend on the historic courthouse. It, so was, in found, the, it was in their original so list. So we found the $3 million, excuse me, 
and decide to give the sheriff half a million, which I'm fine with that. I just think that uh, we're jumping too quick into this two and a half million dollar expansion, and that in the meantime, that we could save ourselves a good bit of expense by paving some short roads wherever they are in the county to get that motor grader off duty. Of those roads. Uh, did, did we get the numbers for the operational costs? Sure. I'm sorry. Did we get the numbers for the yes, operational costs? Yes, I did. What, what were those? Uh, it's around $230,000 a year. That's for a new building. No, that's to operate the current, current facility, facility that they have. And they bring in about 40000 I'm sorry. The <clears throat> senior citizen. Yes, um, it brings in about forty thousand. Forty thousand a year. Right. In membership fees. Yeah. So Commissioner Griner, you were gonna say that I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it was in their master plan in the Park and Rec master plan. It was in their original re original request to us. In their original request, which we couldn't find everything they wanted to do. That's correct. Well, I make a motion if we're through talking about it. I, I, I just had another question. It was just based on um, the current facility. I know with a lot of things that we've looked at building in, in the past, um, when we get ready to build it, by the time we build it, it's another number, uh, more money to it. Uh, do we know if, the, I guess, any designs or plans or, or any engineering cost estimates were brought to the table, I guess, to come up with the figured amount? Yes, I spoke with Chad McLeod, the county's project manager. Uh, he based that figure on the on the square footage and current square footage cost today to build the facility that's on Park Avenue. Basically off of that, I believe it was 16,000 square feet that that current facility is. Yeah, that was my quick because I know yeah. I know a lot of times when they come back, they sure. say we might need two more million in a couple of years or what have you, and you know uh, I know sure. how much we're putting in some of the other facilities. But we felt like that that was a very a good conservative number to use based on the square footage and based on current cost of construction from his experience. Personally, I think it's a great idea to add a, another senior citizen building. I think the quality of life of senior citizens should be one of the things that we take priority over. And if it's going to help make a difference, I think it's great. It, is, it, is it possible? Um, you know, I, I, I know uh, some might feel that it, we're rushing or what have you, but is it is it possible we could put it under the, one of those general terminologies of facilities where, where that decision could be made? Well, certainly. I mean, one of your options. One of your options are is that you can take the senior citizen center specific allocation line out and just move that money into Parks and Rec, and then have those discussions with Parks and Rec. Because I know. Because even, again, yeah. keeping in mind their request was much more than what we actually have allocated for them in the splash revenue, so they have a need. Uh, but if we feel strong enough that a senior citizen center needs to be built, uh, which I feel like it does, we've discussed this at our last two retreats, the need for an additional senior citizen center. This is not a new subject. It's just that we've had the allocation, the opportunity now to allocate this need for our senior citizens. If we don't want to do that, then we can move that money into just the parks and rec. And, and, and I'm, I'm also just want to throw this out here. I remember one time, Ms. Evans, and we also talked about a possible teen center um, for the youth to, to assist or somehow with, with that criminal justice reform or what have you. But I'm just saying if we had a language that might provide a flexibility, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just know we're, we're making a decision that, you know, some are comfortable well, with. Well, if you do a senior sit, the difference is, in reality, is, and Mr. Attorney, please, correct me if I'm wrong, if you allocate monies for a senior citizen center, then you will build a senior citizen center. Mm -hmm. If you move the money into parks and rec and put it under facilities, then they have the discretion as far as what those facilities would be. I just think that, <clears throat> that parks and rec has done a very good job 
um, under Mr. Page's leadership, and I mean the, the, the list of of um, great names just goes on from the chairman to on down. That's been a great board. I think they've proven that they're that they're responsible with whatever funding they get. They seem to make things work, and I think that we can never go wrong anytime we invest in quality of life type situations if you know if you will i mean because in my mind i still say that that if we have the if we have good quality of life um facilities then it, it drives economic development it, it, you know vsu graduates want to stay um it's just better all around for our overall health so i will support it but i am a little bit concerned about the, the residual long-term effects and making sure that they understand that you know, they can't come back to us and say, well, you know, we've got this big, beautiful building, but we're having trouble funding it. So I'm certainly fine with doing it. We haven't had that issue in the past with <laughs> other facilities that they operate. That hasn't been an issue. Can I sit here and promise you that, <laughs> yeah. that they will not come back <clears throat> wanting additional funding? Remember that, that Parks and Rec is funded with one and a quarter mil. That is their operation money. Well, and again, I go back to their, their proven history success mm -hmm. so it's a very good board they've done well okay <clears throat> any other discussion on this motion so let's restate the motion so we know what we're about. the motion is is to revoke the agreement the SPLOS 8 agreement that was approved on July the 23rd and the motion is to reject the um, the presented uh, exhibit a um, amendment Master list. for project list. Project list. Clear enough? Yeah, I just want to make sure, make sure, okay. everybody, I want to make sure everybody knew what we were going Okay, so we have a motion. All right, all in favor signify by aye. All right. Let's do it by hands. All in favor signify by raising your hand. Okay, we have three. Just do, are we sure, sure what we voted no, on? No, yeah, that's no, that's, 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 <laughs> The question is to, to revoke the, the, the one presented. You got two. You got two. You, got two. you have. You have. You, the, the motion is two parts. Okay. To revoke the current agreement that was approved July twenty third. Correct. <clears throat> and not to approve the amend the, the new amendment that's been presented as Exhibit A, which provides for a senior citizen center for two and a half million dollars and five hundred thousand dollars for the sheriff's department that comes from a reduction in the cost of the historical courthouse so it's to revoke and then not to approve so we no longer have an agreement <coughs> at this point with three votes so now we must come up with an agreement now what we can do as we talk about is move the money into uh, parts and rec for them to utilize as under the facilities they would have the discretion to do what they wanted to do with it or you could move it into roads now my concern i'm going to be right up front with it as the chairman my concern with the roads is, is that we've already asked and they approved the taxpayers in this community to dedicate a penny of SPLOS for roads and bridges in this community. All we're asking in SPLOS 7 was the two and a half million dollars for five for six years to cover the LMIG match. That's all we're asking for. I have a question. Ma'am? <laughs> Can I receive my, mo my vote? <laughs> for the last well, I'm sorry, not now. <laughs> the vote's been taken. <laughs> so what I would like to have, I would like to have a new motion, a new motion for a new amendment A that would reallocate that funding as we talked about. I would recommend allocating that two and a half million dollars into parks and recreation and, and five hundred thousand dollars to the sheriff's department. That would be the change that you would see. Do I have a motion? I must so have a motion. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? All in favor? 
signify by aye. Please, by raising your hand. All in favor of that motion? So that motion failed. <laughs> <laughs> He did, but he can make a second without having to support it. He has that ability. Who's on first? <laughs> I'm trying to get there. Okay. Commissioner, I'd like to entertain a motion. I move we go back and allocate the $3 million difference to $2.5 million to a senior center and five hundred thousand dollars to the sheriff's office, like you originally stated on here. Okay, that's my motion. All right. So now we have a motion to go back to the original <laughs> exhibit. Basically, <laughs> approve what we have in front of us. What basically approve what you have in front of us? Do we have a second? Second. You have a second. All right. Now I'll call the vote. All in favor of the original exhibit A, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Thank you for restating that. <laughs> Any other business? Motion to motion adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> 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 we took a